I'm putting them on YouTube and Facebook. I'll show you a couple of the gadgets that are already built. This particular thing, these two modules here, are just doing some simple battery charging and running a couple little things in the warehouse. I bring them out every day and just run stuff off grid. By the way, I have over 2,000 square feet of warehouse here, and you know my bill is never over $60, and uh, most of that service charge. So I use very little grid electricity. I do keep it uh, tied, but um, these aren't serving a function. This is this is uh, um, uh, uh, 180 watt module <clears throat> on a large rolling tool chest, and we have one safety outlet here and what this is is yeah, when we take a look inside so what we have is we have some uh, another safety outlet there so that we can put some um, uh, tool charging for cordless tools and stuff in here um, and then running uh, a BZ product uh, M25 controller because we're just on a single module so we don't need much <clears throat> and uh, um, this is the, uh, um, the, uh, the control plate for uh, a Xantrex uh, um, ProSign uh, 1000. It's only a 1000 watt, it's a 24 volt uh, inverter. Uh, underneath the case and everything, we have uh, two AGM uh, A27 MK DECA batteries, uh, the BZ product controller, of course, and uh, as you can see right now, we're not using a it's just floating the batteries and you know keeping them happy as far as the float goes <clears throat> and then the uh, inverter is down there as well as well as the fusing necessary for a system like this uh, okay and that's what's inside there very unremarkable um, the inner workings of course uh, know what you're doing electronically um, or call us of course <laughs> uh, we'd be happy to give you the parts and or sell you the parts of course but uh, that's basically what I have here. And this is what this is. This is a um, an improvement on a much smaller unit that I had with a single battery and uh, um, a small inverter. Um, but much smaller. This is very big and heavy, but it actually has um, some kick. And let me demonstrate what that kick is. Okay. See, here's our. <clears throat> Let's show you how everything is connected. Oh, we're not plugged in. Okay. How about that? No wonder. Okay, so what we do, and this is a safety switch, so or an outlet, so it's not the easiest thing to plug into. It's actually got some meat to it, and what that does, it makes it very difficult to pull out, <clears throat> as well as being an outdoor, outdoor um, belt box, um, so that, uh, of course, we put this outside. <laughs> So, here we are, we're going through the cord. It's a very long cord, so I'll show you, so you don't think I'm cheating. That's it, so you don't have any kind of crazy looks. Been working on the stuff in the last couple days. I just don't want you to think that I'm pulling a fast one on this. And the reason why I use the extension is because I cannot get this plug on that. You can see this is a very heavy duty plug because it is itself attached to, guess what, an air conditioner. And that's the biggest question, is how big a system do I need for an air conditioner? Well, this is a 5,000 BTU unit. Actually, it's a, a, a 52008. <laughs> Five, no, 5200. So um, it's it's actually a very nice unit. So just so you know, I'm not pulling any fast ones. Okay, I've got it on max uh, cool and uh, speed is high. Everything's on. And the reason it says wait three minutes before restarting is because it builds up a lot of pressure in the compressor and it hasn't been run today. So this is uh, um, <clears throat> a 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter, 180 watt module, basically two kilowatt hours of batteries, and there we go. Been 
showing people this works for a long time. And it does. And it'll run for quite a while. Uh, once started, it has about a 300 watt draw. It starts up pretty heavy, but other than that, see we're down a little bit here. We're probably drawing everything we can out of the module. Oh, not well. <laughs> I'm tilted away from the sun. So. And how about that? Get a lot of that. It shows you the tilt. I get away from the sun, and I'm getting closer to the sun. And this. That's just playing with that because we have this hinged top <clears throat> and the modules on it. So we'd draw these batteries down, probably we'd get to a low voltage disconnect in about uh, an hour, hour and a half. Because it's in the meat and potatoes of the module. <clears throat> but that's that. It's just because the module is about half of the running capacity of the, uh, of the air conditioner. And that's that one. Let's do another one. Solar Ray Inc.